Suppose we want to find the area of the shaded region, R, that lies above the x-axis, and below the graph of this equation. Unfortunately, there is no simple geometric formula for calculating the area of general shapes having curved boundaries like the region R. How, then, can we find the area? While we do not yet have a method for determining the exact area, we can approximate it in a simple way. Two rectangles, that together contain the region of area. Each rectangle has width, 1 by 2 and they have heights, 1 and 3 by 4. The height of each rectangle is the maximum value of the function f, in each subinterval. The total area of the two rectangles approximates the area A of the region R. This estimate is larger than the true area A, since the two rectangles contain R. We say that 0.875 is an upper sum, because it is obtained by taking the height of the rectangle corresponding to the maximum, or uppermost, value of function, over 0.6 lying in the base of each rectangle. Now, we improve our estimate. By using four thinner rectangles, each of width, 1 by 4, which taken together, contain the region R. These four rectangles give the approximation as, which is still greater than true area. Suppose instead we use four rectangles, contained inside the region R, to estimate the area. Each rectangle has width 1 by 4 as before, but the rectangles are shorter, and lie entirely beneath the graph of our function. So the height of each of these rectangles is given by the value of function, at the right end point of the subinterval, forming its base. The fourth rectangle has zero height and therefore contributes no area. Summing these rectangles, whose heights are the minimum value of function, over points x inch the rectangle's base, gives a lower sum approximation to the area as. This estimate is smaller than the true area A, since the rectangles all lie inside, of the region R. The true value of A lies somewhere between these lower and upper sums. Since the true value of the area lies somewhere between them. Here the error cannot be greater than the difference 0.25. Now, let us generate finite approximations for the area of R using many rectangles. For 4 rectangle, for 2 rectangle, for 16 rectangle, for 50 rectangle, for 100 rectangle, for 1000 rectangle. Look! The real area converges to 2 by 3 when the rectangle goes infinite. And this leads to the concept of integration. If we integrate our function from 0 to 1, we will get the precise area. But we will cover this so-called real integration technique later on. So, for that stay connected with Neil Time, and please, subscribe for more calculus videos.